Well, the tigers are under their little roots right there. They'll be fine. A lot of ice. It's much bigger than usually. Usually we only get those small little ones. Today we're getting big ones. Well, let me get inside. No point in standing out here. Go to the Lego. Okay. Biggest hail I've seen in years. Well, we'll check up on it tomorrow. Last night we had a huge storm and there was a lot of hail coming down, bigger than usual, but you can see all the leaves that was hit from the tree and it doesn't really happen that often. You can see the pool also, it's not so clean anymore, but everything is still fine. Tigers are sleeping. Diego was here just a few minutes ago. We will join this piece of lawn today if everything happens in the right ways. But yeah, that was quite a storm last night. And uh, it was lightning, it was thunder, it was ice, and it was rain. So, Diego. <laughs> I actually saw Diego being a little nervous. He's just greeting the dogs quickly. <laughs> but yeah, he is fine. He's realized that it doesn't matter what happens, he's fine at the end of the day. So that is a great thing to know. I think people have got a bigger issue with that. They always think that this might be the last ever and I think that even when they're 40 then 50 then 60 years old they wait for that moment and then eventually they realized they were fine for all that time but it's so much easier if you know you're fine even before that time comes that you can live while you have the confidence that everything is just great. And I think people should force that on themselves. You have to realize that things are good. That is just something worth knowing. And it is time for the Diegos to go and take a walk downstairs. Here they go. Tigers still sleeping. Diego is up at Leeds, but I will just go. Let me just carry Bunny. She's so tiny. <laughs> the dogs are having a pool party. Just look at that. Tracy is entertaining them. And they are swimming and running and making a huge noise. Yeah, those two are a little agitated with one another. But look at that. But they are fine. <laughs> Donna! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right, Trace is done. Monkeys. Just gave them some of their bottle to drink. They are all right in there. Playing on the net. I love the net. Here comes little Bella. <laughs> Bella! Yeah, she grew up so quick. I think she's about seven, eight months old now. 
but still she is really small against all the others and Chloe as well but they are growing up together they are like two little sisters and they're doing absolutely great Arnie calling that sound they usually make that sound when they're calling another monkey that they don't know where he is Arnie <laughs> Might be that there is another monkey around. I'll just listen. Because it is possible to happen. Who would know about it first? Arnie would. <laughs> Arnie! Dwins. He's just taking a nap right here. <laughs> this is a bed for a monkey. Can you believe it? Yeah, my computer is making a beep sound when I switch it on or shut it down. So I'm going to have to take it in quickly so they can have a look at it and tell me what is wrong. They should know. Yeah, computer cat. She does not know what is wrong with my computer. Seems like she knows how to mess a computer up by just walking over the keyboard. But she doesn't really know how to fix them up. So I'll be taking it in. But in any case, she is getting huge. Hmm, that's why my chair looks like that. Little Oriyoki. <laughs> okay, that tree is flat. We'll go in and pick it up again. Enzo is just checking it out. Right, and Diego is on this side now. Not fair, Diego. Enzo has stepped into something. I'm not sure what it is. With his right back leg. Or his foot. So he is limping at the moment. I'll just check what that could be. And Diego takes full advantage of it. Well, yeah, just look at that. still now Enzo gets the advantage of it he he knows that Diego knows that he has stepped into something and he's not gonna pay attention and then Enzo's got his advantage but in any case when Enzo was climbing down here just now it was perfectly fine he walked up to here and he just spent 10 minutes right here and when he stood up he limped so it couldn't be something serious I think it's just maybe a little rock or something that's between the toes or just something like that but it should not be serious okay so my computer is starting up and working again we didn't do much, there's just one little plug on a hard drive that is not really, well, <laughs> working 100%, so I'm gonna have to get that replaced a little later, but I'll do it. 
should close it always does let me do it again nope not yet let me try again little pick is sitting here watching Diego there Diego just heard me talking and now he's lost his toy he's got the handle from the pink bike that's just drifting around there he's playing with that Enzo is up in the jungle gym tree house <laughs> but Diego is just waiting for that handle to appear now there's the bikes seems like he threw both of them into the pool He's just enjoying that handle. We gotta get in here still and pick up that one tree. But Enzo is not getting up. He just won't get up. And Diego, he is not gonna go to sleep. He just wants to stay up. <laughs> but at least he's enjoying everything. Wanna get a lot of value out of your swimming pool? Give it to a tiger. He's gonna enjoy it every single day. I did not even swim once this whole season. So for the whole year, I have not been in the water. I don't even think I swam last year. But this swimming pool, well, was really being used. And the one at the dog side as well. They're using it every single day. Okay, Enzo might just get up. Let me go down and try and get him out of there. Enzo! Right, let me go get him down. Getting back home and the neighbor's dogs are just playing right there. Just look at that. They are having so much fun. Yeah, you can't just keep one. Look at those two. They are enjoying each other's company so much. How can you just split them up? I don't think it's a good idea. The others are waiting for them to get back home. <laughs> but yeah, they are really having so much fun. And you'd think they are playing with the toy. They're not. They're playing with each other. That is how it is. Right. Just offloaded all the stuff for the last two weeks from the Bucky. And now I'm back home. End of the day. Gonna go feed all the animals. And I'm done. Okay, I just fed the tigers and the cats. But now the Diegos are outside here. And they want to spend some time here. They want to get to know this place as well. Because they don't know it yet. But I have to keep an eye. Because they still, they don't know yet. That they're not supposed to go too close to the tigers. But... At least the tigers are, well, they know this already. They've seen so many cats before. And little Oreo Diego, well, he's really intrigued with this place. He wants to hang out here. And he will. <laughs> but I'm going to take him back. They can spend a few minutes here and then... They should go back. But I have to close the tigers up because I've got some things to do in their bigger area. And I think I should just let these little ones go back. <laughs> it's not all of them that's here. Some of them are upstairs still. But they want to be around here. <laughs> 
Oh, there's little Bunny as well. And there's Katya as well. So now they're all here. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a thing. Okay, the dogs just chased little Oreo out. And let's see how he gets out. He's not going to know how. Wait, he's going to figure it out. I only put that wire up for half of this fence. So, okay, there he forgot about it. So now he's carrying on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put them back, close the tigers up quickly, and then I can go do the stuff I need to do. Let me get back to you guys in a while. Okay, it's 22 minutes past 12 and cutest cat in the world is bringing snails up. So let me go put them in the pots. Right, and everyone is just happy. Father cat is here, mother cat is here, sissy, computer cat, and that is little opal, vegetarian cat, and buck. They are all, and there's little turbo as well. Right. Time to start feeding them. The end of the weekend. One thing I've noticed is that this place is clean. It's very seldom that this house is this clean on a Sunday. It's just every other day of the week. We are cleaning it constantly. But today, nothing. But it is still clean. So it's actually strange to see that. Because it can sometimes be a real mess. But in any case, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm real happy about it. Enzo and Diego, I think they are ready to eat. Enzo key. <laughs> right. The other, the Diegos and little bunny still upstairs. I'm going to open up for them now. But seems like when I've got them running around downstairs then I keep the ones that make the place dirty outside so that makes the difference who would have ever known Zach who would have known that sometimes having a lot of cats can keep your house clean just because you don't let the others in <laughs> these two boys they are absolutely perfect just look at that and my computer is fixed again so at least it is working perfectly fine it turns out it was just a little plug on one of the hard drives that is not perfect <laughs> Zach <laughs> Yeah, he walks away with one point. Diego, you got him. You showed him that you were able to get him when he turned his back. Why? Because you never turn your back on a tiger. Yeah. Even tigers sometimes need to learn that lesson. Right, and the dogs are all eating. Don't be fooled, it's not only these pellets that they get. That's all that's left after they ate the parts that they really liked. But in any case, they will finish it. Little Pixie is right behind that cupboard. She just spends her time there. And I do give her a few extra, well, of the chicken parts that they really love. <laughs> Billy! Now Billy doesn't want them to drink any of the water because that is chicken water. <laughs> what were they thinking if they thought that they could just go there and drink some of his chicken water? <laughs> Are you done, Pixie? Yeah. Wagging that tail like she just had 
the best part. Well, these two boys, they are also eating. Almost done. And then, I am done. Can you believe it? At last. Well, we did remove that stump, old tree trunk that was right there. So that's not going to be there anymore. And uh, I am going to be putting another one of these decks in the jungle gym for the tigers on the other side. And it will be on the floor because they don't really sleep on the floor. But now they will once that is in and they will love it. But in any case, they are still eating. They're almost done. Sun is shining from a different angle again today. But everyone is eating and happy. Enzo! <laughs> yeah. I think it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> Diego over there, he's done. He's already taking a bath without water. Yeah. How many chickens did he eat? Well, all of them. So, he's done. And the Diegos, there they are. They are just waiting for me to open up for them so they can come down and eat. That's what they do. But in any case, they are all just taking a little walk. Diego is, I don't know where he's going now, but he's going around the tree. <laughs> Yesterday with that hailstorm that we had. Well, I found this little one sitting right there. This was the only place where she could get out of the hail. Well, luckily she had a concrete roof on top of her, but she was soaking wet and she wasn't very impressed. And I picked her up and I took her inside the house and she was fine. But in any case, she was very unimpressed with that hailstorm that we had but in any case Enzo is walking perfectly again he did hurt his back foot a little yesterday but he recovered completely I just I think he just stepped on something but nothing wrong whatsoever he is perfect well guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and like always have a great day